Hey guys, this is Daniel with Pwn CNC, and we're here to uh, unbox a 1.5 water, and then later we'll uh, I'll have a 1.5 air. That way you can see exactly what comes in the packages, and you can uh, um, kind of anticipate what you're going to receive. So let's uh, let's uh, jump into it. Okay, we're going to start out with the uh, simplest. Our simplest option here, which is the uh, 1.5 uh, air. This is our simplest setup, simply because it's the motor, the VFD, and some cables, and we're pretty much good. There's no pump or tubes to worry about here. So what I have inside of the box is we have our manual with some stickers. Um, we have a VFD cable, which has been labeled here. We've got... Our Pwn CNC mug, free mug that comes with your, uh, with your spindle kit. Some padding here, we've got the spindle motor, the VFD, as well as, let's see, here's a smaller box. Let me set all this stuff aside. Then we have another box here, which has some additional supplies in it. So we've got the uh, power cable. We have some Skittles, of course. Let's see, ER11 116th, a 18th, and a 1 quarter, as well as the uh, Ponzi and C nut that goes with your spindle. And then let's see, since this is a uh, 1.5 with an ER11, um, this is all ER11 stuff here. We've got a 17 uh, millimeter uh, wrench. Um, this is a nice thick um, regular or, uh, steel wrench here, which works with the nut. And then we've got a 13 millimeter wrench here, um, which is for the shaft of the motor. So, okay, I've rotated everything around on our table so we can get a little better look at things. I'm gonna jump into and start looking into uh, the motor and the VFD here. So let me set a couple of things aside. Let's start with our motor. So the motor comes well packaged in the styrofoam and then bubble wrap and plastic. I didn't want anything damaging to happen to this motor. So what we've got is this is the 1.5 air. Uh, 65 millimeter body um, motor. Um, you can see the the nameplate and all that. It's got a um, 1.5, 12 amp. Obviously, if you were motor, um, this is the air version. So this comes in either 0 0.8, 1.5, um, or uh, soon a 2.2. So in in the 220 volt version. But on our air, there is a uh, open it grid opening here for a fan. Um, and then, of course, the H17 aircraft connector right there. The fan will suck the air down through and pop it right out these holes um, right down towards the work area. It keep, helps keep the dust and everything clean away from there. Um, so you do want to have this top area kind of uh, um, cleaned off and make sure it doesn't um, collect up any dust or anything when you're working on it. The aircraft connector is grounded internally. So one of these pins, if you were to use a, a, a voltmeter or whatnot, um, conductivity, you can check it from here. I forget exactly which pin it is. You'll have to check which pin it is, but um, it'll match it right up to your uh, to the body. Um, so just touch it to the body, touch it to one of the pins, and you can actually validate the uh, grounding. Um, but that is our motor. On the motor, uh, on the topic of the motor, we have our... Uh, very cool. I'm very happy with these. These look really nice. The uh, the silver uh, Pwn CNC um, uh, collet nuts. This is for an ER11. Um, and if we grab one of our uh, collets, this happens to be the, uh, the quarter inch version. And on that, we're going to take the uh, large end, stick it right in, pop it in, and it should, uh, it should snap. So you should press it, and it should snap right into place. So you need to hold it. So once you've got that in place, you can just um, screw that right onto the uh, right onto the the shaft there, 
and it holds on to your bit. Some people will actually buy extras of these nuts. Um, I have them available on the website. And then, of course, extra collets and that sort of thing. So you can have them if you've got multiple bit changes. Um, you may want to have your bit, your nut, and your collet all ready to go. So you just swap it up, pull one off, swap it out, pull the other one on, um, and then just keep running with your cut. So that is the motor. Um, let's uh, switch gears and we'll go take a look at the, uh, at the VFD. Okay, don't roll off on me. So the VFD, if we were to unbox that, we can see that it's got the motor or the, the drive itself, as well as uh, the manual here. So the manual. We have our VFD, which pops right off the top, um, extendable by a Cat5 cable. So nice and easy, we can have that um, in a very convenient place. Um, I've got a couple of mounts on the website which allow you to move this, surface mount it, or flush mount it right onto your control panel so you can have a quick and easy access to it. Um, motor, or the VFD, just grab both sides, thumb down, push, and on the back side, um, you can see on the inside I've, I've labeled it so you can understand which uh, motor this has been programmed for. So I pre-program all of these for you so there's no need to just uh, buy the kit, wire it up, and you're off and running. There's no programming or anything required in order to, the, to do the very basic uh, functionality of the, of, the, of the spindle kit. In this case, I've got it wired up for a 1.5, 110, 12 amp uh, motor. Uh, that's what this guy is here. And of course, they've got their our coloring diagram um, so you can know how to wire it up. In a future video, um, I will uh, actually wire it up, uh, go through all the tips and tricks and details um, so you can actually know exactly how to wire it up from a video standpoint. Um, but of course, all that is covered in the manual. So there's no need to uh, for the video, but I do want to put out as much content as possible so you guys know um, what you're getting into when you buy into a uh, Pwn CNC spindle kit. So, and of course, uh, one additional thing to unwrap here is the actual spindle cable. So the spindle cable, I've got this handmade um, by a fellow maker, uh, Aaron, um, shout out, um, good guy. Um, he does a really high craftsman job of, of building these cables. Um, everything from grounding the shield, or I'm sorry, grounding the drain on the cable itself uh, to the individual connectors, soldering every single one of them, really nice. A great job on the aircraft connectors. Uh, just search the uh, Pwn CNC users group and you can actually see some, uh, some unraveled uh, uh, or some you know, take off the connector cover and you can actually see exactly how detailed we've gotten whenever we've designed uh, how these aircraft connectors are going to go together. So nice, high quality cable there. Um, but yeah, if, uh, if you have any questions or comments, just leave them down below or reach out to us at support, uh, support at pwncnc.com. Um, we're happy to help. I've got lots of people. I've got several people monitoring that queue, helping answer questions and that sort of thing. So if you have any questions or suggestions or comments, um, reach out. We're here to help. Um, I'll leave some links in the description to this specific kit and my other kits as well. Um, and yeah, remember, don't just own your CNC, dominate it.